Hey there. Uh, today we're going to be learning how to convert customary units of weight. Um, and it's very similar to how we converted um, customary units of length. If you want to go back and check that video out to remind yourself. Um, we need to first be familiar with what units of length we have in um, customary. So um, the one that you're most familiar with is probably how much you weigh, and we would measure that in pounds. Um, but we also have two other units as well that we need to know as, um, in addition to pounds. Um, smaller than pounds, we have ounces. And larger than pounds, we have tons. And again, in order to convert from um, unit to unit, we're going to create kind of a, a map to help us with our conversions. So we're going to build our map by listing the abbreviations of starting with the smallest units and going down to the largest units. Um, but I want to point out that the um, abbreviations for ounces and pounds are a little bit different than what you might think that they would be. So for ounces, our abbreviation is OZ. And for pounds, the abbreviation is lowercase l and lowercase b. I know that kind of looks like one and maybe even a six, but that is a l b for pounds. And then for tons, we have a capital T. Okay. <clears throat> Again, we're going to want to draw some arrows to kind of help us from where we're jumping from unit to unit. So if I'm going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, my numbers are actually going to get smaller, so my uh, process is going to be division. And again, if I'm going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, I'm dividing. And if I'm going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, my numbers are getting larger, so I am multiplying. Okay, and then finally we need to fill in um, our magic numbers so we know what are we dividing or what are we multiplying by. Um, and our magic numbers simply come from how many of the smaller unit is in one of the larger units. So between ounces and pounds, my magic number is 16 because there are 16 ounces in one pound. And between pounds and tons, my magic number is 2,000 because there are 2,000 pounds in one ton. Um, again, at this point, you might want to pause the video and copy this um, map down on a piece of paper or on a whiteboard or somewhere for you to reference while you're solving your problems um, to help you remember where you need to or what you need to do in order to solve your problems. So let's try a few problems together. We Let's start with eight pounds and I want to know how many ounces that will be. So again I'm going to start with whatever this has been given to me. In this case they gave me pounds and I want to get two ounces so I'm going this way and if I look at my arrow going that way I see that it wants me to multiply by 16. So I'm going to pull that out over here 16 times 8. 8 times 6 is 48. 8 times 1 plus 4 is 12. So my answer is 128. There are 100, 128 ounces is equal to 8 pounds. Let's try another example. Um, this time we'll go from a, a smaller unit to a larger unit. Um, so let's say I have 10,000 pounds, and I want to know how many tons that will be. So again, I'm going to start where I'm given. In this case, I'm given pounds, and I want to get two tons. So if I follow my arrow, I see that I need to divide by 2,000. So here's 10,000 and I'm going to divide by 2,000. And this looks like a really big problem, but if you remember, um, I actually can cancel zeros out when I have them at the end of my numbers, um, as long as I cancel out the same number of zeros from each side in my division problem. So I have one, two, three zeros that I can cancel out over here, so I can cancel out one, two, three zeros on this side, 
And really all I have is this basic um, division problem, which is 10 divided by 2, which gives me 5. So 10,000 pounds is equal to 5 tons. Uh, let's try one more example, and this time we're going to um, jump a couple spaces, um, going from tons to ounces in this case. So let's say I've got three tons, and I want to know how many ounces that will be. So again, I can't just jump from tons to ounces. Um, I have to go from tons to pounds, and then from pounds to ounces uh, if I follow my map. So I'm going to start with tons. And going from tons to pounds, I see that I need to multiply by 2,000. So 2,000 times 3. And that's really just 2 times 3, which is 6, with 1, 2, 3 zeros on the end. So that number 6,000 doesn't tell me how many ounces I have, but it tells me how many pounds there are in 3 tons. So now that I have my pounds, I need to continue on in my map to get to ounces. And in order to get to ounces, I'm multiplying by 16. Now again, when I'm multiplying by large numbers of zeros, or by numbers with um, zeros at the end, all I need to do is just bring those zeros down, and then I'm really just going to multiply um, 6 times 16. So 6 times 6 is 36, and 6 times 1 is 6, plus 3 is 9. So it's 96 with three zeros, or 96,000 ounces.